Researchers have raised the possibility of an end to prolonged radiation therapy for many breast cancer patients. They found that a single dose of radiation during surgery is just as effective in preventing cancer recurring. More from medical reporter Sophie Scott. Patients with early stage breast cancer usually have surgery, then a course of radiation therapy to kill any remaining cancer cells. That can take up to seven weeks. Australian doctors led a 10-year study to see if one dose of radiation given during surgery was just as effective. With this machine, we have the ability to actually give all of the radiotherapy in one shot, and that's actually done in theatres, either at the time of the initial surgery or as a second procedure. It's a different kind of radiation treatment. After the tumour is removed, an applicator is lowered into the site, emitting low-dose X-rays on the cancer cells. More than 2,000 women with early breast cancer were given either conventional radiation or the one-off dose. We've now been able to show definitively that the radiotherapy given by the new treatment, the target treatment during surgery, is as effective for at least a selected group of women with breast cancer as the conventional radiotherapy given over six weeks. One of those given the one-off treatment was therapist Maggie Lindsay. It was fantastic. Really, I came round from the operation to know that it had all been done. There was nothing more to do. That was an amazing feeling. The rate of cancer returning was extremely low for all of the women in the study. The patients given the newer technology had fewer side effects. We have found that the radiation-induced side effects like scarring and the texture of the breast is significantly less. At the moment, the new device is only used in clinical trials in Australia, but doctors are optimistic that these findings will mean the technology becomes more widely available. Future studies will look to see if the technique can work in more aggressive forms of breast cancer. Sophie Scott, ABC News.